So what are we doing here today, girls? Fish's ghost run. Oh, 5K. nice. 5k run. Yes. <laughs> never, done, <laughs> never done one before. <laughs> Excited? Yes. Think you're going to do good? Probably going to get lost. She's going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. What is the only reason you're doing this for? The t shirt at the end, because if you do it in under two hours, you get a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can manage that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still complicated. <laughs> Would you like us to run alongside you and film you while you're yes. wetting? Yeah. Oh, some serious dudes <laughs> Whoa! Go, Jibs! <laughs> Look at the finish on her! He's just won himself a $50 voucher to spend at McCarthy Square. Gemma Rose Elvis. He finished line. Sarah Bowles. Go, Sophie! Give her a big round of applause. Give all our finishes a huge round of applause. They've done an excellent job. We have Sarah. So, race finished. How do you think you went? Is it good? I didn't need to peel me off the <laughs> <laughs> Happy with how you did? So. Think you do another one? Definitely. <laughs> two minutes faster than my best. Oh wow. Well. Oh, no. two, only my, two minutes. I don't know what my best was, but I definitely beat it. <laughs> I see. Some free shirts there. Yeah, I got my shirt. All the free shirts. In which case it was absolutely worth it, wasn't it? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Well, the only reason you did it was for that shirt. Pretty much. <laughs> Not the exercise or the feeling of even one. No, just the t-shirt. Well, after all the excitement of the race yesterday, I'm taking a bit of a quieter day today, just trying to get back into the swing of working and creating again. I've had sort of a couple of lighter days of work recently, which I actually sometimes feel a bit bad about. Like, it's one of those things I found about being an indie creator is that it feels like the work is never done and that taking time off is something I shouldn't be doing. And it's, it's a bit weird because I will do an entire day of work, I will write, I will do music, like I will arrange and I will work on accompaniments and such and I'll get to the evening and I'll think, well, I could stop and just, you know, watch some movies or something. but. I've got all these hours which I'm not doing anything in and I mean am I just wasting my time then and it's really weird because I know logically I'm not like logically I know everyone takes time off like people get weekends and they take their evenings and they don't work then whereas I'll work all day I'll get to the evening and go oh well I should be doing some more work and I will work half the evening as well so I don't know if that's just me whether that's just something um, you know, if that's something just I think, but it's just, it doesn't seem like there's ever a break from creating stuff. And like, when you have so many hours in a day, how can I justify taking so many off? It's just, I don't know. Let me know if that's something you've ever thought about. It's probably NaNoWriMo and, you know, trying to fit in, making music, writing books, editing books, creating so many things all at once. Just the fact that there's so much to do in so little time feels like, when I do have the time, I should be making the most of it that I can. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sitting here waiting for my sister's train to come in so I thought well 
I may as well film a bit for the vlog while I'm just sitting here. And I just thought I'd just let you know how my day's going. Seeing as I didn't introduce anything that I've done so far today. So the first clip you saw was actually just a, me driving down the highway to take my sister to work this morning. So that lovely view of the fields and the trees and such is pretty much what we drive past for 45 minutes every morning as I get her to work. So it's a 45 minute drive there. But it's, it's nice, it's um, quiet on the road at that time of morning even though it's a highway and yeah so we enjoy it as long as I have my cup of coffee I'm quite happy to be out driving that early. And then other than that the other thing we were doing was making Christmas tree ornaments. So we actually have quite a tradition of making Christmas tree ornaments out of salt dough. Um, I can't remember a time when we didn't have salt dough ornaments on the Christmas tree so we made some more angels but sort of quite quite famous in our family for making angels so we've made this year's new batch it's um interesting compared to some of the others last time we made them we made a bunch of angels and they were holding musical instruments they all look very angelic this time might be slightly different we may have one angel holding a pig and another one wearing a sombrero holding a cactus wearing a sombrero yeah, that's, they're going to be interesting to paint up. So we made 14 of those today and I'm sure we'll make a few more as Christmas gets a bit closer. But it's nice to start thinking that Christmas is actually getting, you know, much closer. So that's where my day has been. I have done exactly no writing and very little work on my next cover. So I should probably catch up with that at some point. But it's been a good day so far, I think. A bit of a quiet day here today. I'm actually all alone in the house this afternoon. Everyone else has gone out shopping, but I decided, well, I should probably stay back and get some work done. We may, you know, maybe actually start putting some of this vlog together because when you're putting together like six days worth of filming, that tends to take a bit of a while. Um, but actually, on that note, I really wanted to say thank you to everybody who watched the last vlog episode. Um, at the, at the point I'm recording this it's actually had 51 views which for a vlog on a channel that is primarily a music channel to me is just such an amazing thing I didn't think when I first started it that anyone would be that interested it's like a bit of an experiment I got halfway through the week I'm like I don't even know if anybody's gonna want to watch this I mean I'm just filming random clips of my life and hoping that people are going to watch it and and be interested enough to make it to the end and I was just so surprised at how many people came back and and said that they enjoyed it and that they were looking forward to the next one. So I especially want to say a real big thank you to everybody who left a comment for me either below the video or on Twitter. I had a lot of lovely friends from Twitter encourage me with this first vlog. I'm not a natural at speaking in front of the camera. I can sing pretty much anywhere. But when it comes to speaking, let's just say not my forte. <laughs> so the fact that people enjoyed just me vlogging for a week was really encouraging. I actually really relate to something one of my friends on Twitter said. I was I was bemoaning the fact that when I stand in front of a camera I have to reshoot so many times because I cannot get the words out. Um, and he said that every time he stands in front of a camera he turns into a sputtering bell pepper. I just thought that is such a fantastic image and it's absolutely true. I just feel like a sputtering bell pepper every time. Because it's just me in the house today the poor puppy is having to follow me around everywhere because she doesn't want to be on her own but she's so tired that everywhere we go she just wants to have a nap. So today has been a bit of an interesting day. Uh, we actually don't have any power or Wi-Fi at home at the moment. because no coffee. <laughs> I know we can't even use the kettle. There is um, scheduled maintenance on the electricity at the moment so we are without power, Wi-Fi and coffee for eight hours today which when you live and work at home constantly is not that much fun. So we've spent the morning painting Christmas tree ornaments, the same ones that we were making earlier this week. Uh, this afternoon we have been out to have some lunch because being the brains we are, we forgot to find any food that we could eat without any way of heating or defrosting or cooking. We may have needed to work that out first. And now we're actually about to go and spend some time in the library because where better to go when you have nothing to do at home than the library. Let's go.
don't think Enid Blyton wrote these ones. Well, I'm back in my little portable office, also known as the car. Um, I'm waiting for my sister Charlotte, who's having a driving lesson at the moment. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to do some work on the book I'm editing at the moment. If you don't know already, um, as well as being a musician, I'm also a writer. And I'm working on getting my first book uh, edited to completion and hopefully published early next year. So I'm on the final draft at the moment and I'm just polishing up the text and it feels so good to be so close to the end. Like I'm reading through what I've written and I actually really like it. It's a really weird feeling because so many times I have been through this book and it is on its 11th draft at the moment. It's taken me nearly six years to get here and every time I've been through it I'm like, this is not, this is not good but it's going to get there. This is not good, but I can make it better. And now I'm at the point where I'm going, oh, this is actually not bad. I quite like it. Um, but of course, being so close to the end does leave me with a few problems, like the fact I still don't have a good title for this one. That's actually one of the things I really struggle with is I am so bad at titling anything. All my books have really bad working titles. Like at the moment, this one is called The Crystal Tree, which while relevant is not compelling, not really eye-catching, and doesn't really sort of encapsulate the idea of what the book is about. So I've been trying to come up with some other titles for it this week in particular. I finally came up with a list of semi-decent ones that I'm hoping to use to brainstorm a bit more. Actually, I might get your opinion on what you think about some of these titles, and remember, they're not they're not meant to be final titles, they're just working concepts that I'm sort of looking through at the moment, trying to find the right angle to approach from. So I might put some of those up um, around the edge of the screen. And, you know, if you're feeling generous, you might let me know whether any of these are starting to sound like a book that you would pick up off the um, shelf at a library or at a bookstore, or you might just flip open and take a look inside. So. Yeah, there should be a, a few of them around my face at the moment, so let me know if any of those sound any good. And to give you a bit of context, um, so you can sort of judge the title to go with the book, because I understand that um, trying to pick a title without knowing anything about the book is a bit difficult. Um, this is my very rough synopsis. I've spent so much time editing this book, I have not actually written out a good one yet, so bear with me. Um, Briar, a young song magician, and her sister Ava have finally managed to rebuild their lives in the small country town of Osman. Finally, for the first time, everything seems to be looking up for them until Osman is attacked by bandits and Ava is kidnapped, forcing Briar to go on an epic quest across the country to try and rescue her kidnapped sister, only to discover that Ava's kidnapping is a very small part in a much larger plan that involves betrayal, intrigue, magic, and a little bit of plotting to take over the throne. And in the end, Briar is left with a difficult decision, save her sister or help save her country. So that is the very rough synopsis for what the book is about. Um, and, and those were some of the title ideas I'm playing around with at the moment. So if you have a moment, do let me know if um, any of those sound any good because oh, I'm struggling so hard with this. And we've reached the end of the vlogging week, actually. Um, I didn't realise we'd made it to Friday so quickly. I was putting together some of the vlog this morning and thinking, well, actually, I'm almost done for the week. So, yeah, this, this will be my final clip for the day. Um, I hope that you've really enjoyed this vlog. As I said a couple of days ago, I've been really blown away by how much people have enjoyed this vlog and have supported it and just said that you know they're looking forward to the second episode i hope that you've enjoyed this one as much if not more than the first if you have any feedback on what i'm doing at the moment with this vlog if there's anything you'd like anything you don't um anything you'd like to see more of i never really know what's interesting to people what i should put in and what i should take out so all feedback is really um i gratefully accept it at the moment because i'm still trying to figure out what i'm doing with this but I just want to say a big thank you to anybody who's watched this the vlog this week and who watched last week's vlog. And hopefully you'll come back next week for a third vlog because I am starting to really enjoy doing this. And yeah, hopefully I will see you then. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.